Radio Disney, it's Candace. All right, Zendaya is checking in right now from New York. We got to talk Dancing with the Stars and the finale last night. Hey, Zendaya. Hey. How are you? I'm good. Good. Well, um, before we start this quick little interview, Gonzo and I are both here. We just want to give you a standing ovation on behalf of all the Z-Swaggers, all the fans, everybody listening. Congratulations on an awesome season of Dancing with the Stars. Thank you. What was your favorite moment of the finale last night? Um, I think it was like probably the, the Insta dance. You know, it was my last dance with Val, and I just really enjoyed it. I had fun. I didn't stress out, and I just kind of winged a little part and just really just went out there and did it. What was it like to hear Val say what an inspiration you are to him after that performance? Everything was done. I thought what he said was beautiful. It was awesome. I think, you know, Val is an amazing person, and... Um, you know, I'm so lucky that I was able to work with him, and he's definitely part of my family now. What are some of the things that you told him that may have been inspiring to cause him to say that? I think it's not necessarily what I told him, but I showed him. You know what I mean? I think actions speak louder than words, and I, you know, I showed him my passion and my inspiration, and that just kind of rubbed off on him, you know? Definitely. And then you guys pretty much just got right on a plane and headed to New York from L.A., right? How much time did you guys have? Uh, literally, like, maybe 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And what is a private jet like? That's why you guys flew to New York, right? It's pretty cool. I mean, honestly, I, I just was, like, freaking out if I was even on it. But I was honestly just trying to figure out a way for me to sleep. That's all I wanted was sleep. Yeah, you had to have been tired. Were, was everybody else trying to sleep, or were they just kind of celebrating or playing on their phones? I can't really tell you. I was definitely asleep. I have no idea what was going on. Oh, good. I went through my zone and just tried my best. Right, it's so hard for me to sleep on planes, but you guys did go to Good Morning America today, which looked really fun this morning. How was that? It was fun. It was very cool. You know, we did it in Times Square, which is pretty surreal. And I found, learned something new about you. I did not know that you would like to have the superpower to read someone's mind. Yeah, I think that would be awesome. Whose mind would you read? I don't know. I think it depends on whose mind I want to read at the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I could stop a lot of bad things from happening. Like, it would be great. Yeah, you'd basically be Superwoman, I guess. Basically. <laughs> basically. All right, we'll stay right there. We'll chat a little bit more about Dancing with the Stars in the finale last night with you, Zendaya. That's next. Demi Lovato singing now. It's Radio Disney. the runner-up from Dancing with the Stars season 16. We saw the finale last night. Now, Val's eye, I gotta know, is it as bad as it looks, really? Yeah. It was? He had to get, yeah, he had to get 14 stitches and it's pretty swollen and bruised up, but he's he's a really tough guy, so it doesn't really, you know, bother him too much. Yeah, did you ever think that you would accidentally, you know, give someone an injury like that? You, you're pretty tough now. You've given someone stitches. I mean, it can happen, and it's, <laughs> it, it's, 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 it's Obviously, balance happened. I feel like with all the arms that I have, <laughs> that I'm so long, I, I knew it was going to happen one time. And I got to tell you, my Monday nights are not going to be the same anymore without dancing. So who are you going to miss the most on the cast? I mean, that's tough. I spent most of my time with Val. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to miss, you know, everyone and everyone's, you know, kind of vibe and energy. Everyone was so sweet. And, and very, like, you know, not really all about the competition, but for sure number one is Val. The Hip Hop Week, I think, he, he got a, definitely a big taste of my world and kind of understood where I come from and found a, a, a new respect for what I do. Yeah, was there one specific move that you taught him that you can remember that he liked? No, I think, I think it was just choreography in general. We just kind of didn't take it easy on him at all. So if they come up with, you know, an all-star season a few years down the road and they ask you to come back to dancing, would you do it? I don't know. I have no idea. We'll, we'll see what Zendaya's got up her sleeve by then. Yeah, I have a feeling you might be too busy for that in a few years. <laughs> <laughs> so what is next for you? I know you're working on music. You just had auditions for uh, band and dancers for your tour. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming out with my, my single in June and the album in fall. Oh. And I have a book coming out in August. It's a twin device book. Um, I mean, lots of really cool stuff is happening right now, so I'm very excited. Awesome. We are, too. Well, before I let you go, anything you want to say to all of your fans, everyone who watched Shake It Up, who voted and supported you this season on Dancing with the Stars? I just want to say thank you so much for being with me on this journey, and I really, 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 really appreciate it, and I love you all my Z-Swaggers. Well, it was good to talk to you. Thanks for calling in. Congratulations again on a very successful season of Dancing with the Stars. Hopefully we'll see you uh, with some new music here at Radio Disney soon. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye, girl. Bye.